guys, Tidy R, Era Tidy R, you know me, and today we've got a new video going on to the Era channel. It's called Meet the Team, as you can probably see by the title, and basically what this is, it's a chance for the players and people part of the team to have a video on the Era channel just talking about other things rather than just you seeing clips, you get to know us on a more personal level. You know, hear us talk, go over a few things, maybe ask some questions, just things like that. Hopefully, if this video does get good feedback, you will be seeing quite a lot more of these from several members. I'm pretty sure, you know, if you leave some comments, you know, who you want to hear, or who you want to see a video from then you know it will kind of edge them to a video pretty much so you know I'm just gonna go over a few things and a few questions you may have and hopefully this will be a good video I'd like to mention in the background of this video it's gonna be a pretty much like a kind of progression video pretty much what it is so it's gonna be videos from back when I first started going to like where I'm at now and you know you can kind of see how things have changed and what's happened with me and how I've improved and you know maybe you could take note or learn a few things I'm not too sure so it's just there for you know just entertainment or whatever so you're not just listening to me talk on so basically the main question I get on Twitter and YouTube and stuff is how I joined ERA and I'm pretty sure everyone wants to know how everyone joined you know all these big teams or whatever obviously a lot of people do want to join them in terms of tips I'll kind of go over that in a minute but how I joined personally wasn't for a recruitment challenge and it wasn't for a straight up invitation through a private recruitment challenge did not just something you can ask for luckily I've been friends with one of the leaders Ginge for quite a while since somewhere around 2013 been on good terms and I just messaged him on Twitter one day and just said look you know I'm, I'm bored of being in these small teams that are just not getting anywhere pretty much and I just want to be in a team that can benefit me and I can make videos for and you know see him do well and stuff and he gave me the opportunity he gave me a clan tag and I just went on went online played for a few days hit some clips and luckily he let me in that's pretty much how I got in just you know I'm not saying that's the easiest way it's probably the you know the less easiest way or whatever that's how I got in personally so in terms of tips for joining the best thing you can do is just be consistent hit as many clips as you can just make videos now I see people like saying they can't make videos they don't have an editor but literally all you have to do it's really not that hard you know you don't need an editor whatsoever just you can find these tutorials all over YouTube and pretty much just find a song just nothing too heavy not a weird song just a nice simple song a bit of text you don't have to sync or anything and just put your clips in just make sure it's all disabled resampled or whatever maybe add a little color correction just a light one and just make it a nice a simple easy to watch video if you just make them consistently weekly every other week I'm pretty sure your channel will grow a bit maybe link some of your friends or just you know maybe get in a team just or do a private recruitment challenge if you think you're good for another team and just either like work your way up pretty much or just keep making videos and you know hopefully someone will see you or if you just maybe tweet some of the area members you know asking you know can you watch this whatever or just make you know make just record for like a big montage or something make something which everyone will want to see everyone will talk about you know there's plenty of things you can do you kind of just want to you know go with what suits you best so the first console first console what I've ever played I remember this I'm not sure when it was in terms of years or whatever but it was the Nintendo 64 now that console was just brilliant I enjoyed that a lot the games on it were brilliant it was like GoldenEye uh, Mario Kart 64 I don't know it's called Mario Brother games or something there's just a load of games and that's pretty much where all these games first started off it was on the Nintendo 64 console that was my first console from then on I went to the PlayStation 2 somewhere within the time of moving to that I had a Dreamcast and a PlayStation 1 but I barely played them I just stuck to the Nintendo 64 and then moved on to the PlayStation 2 so you know obviously I'm pretty sure most of you have PlayStation 2 and know all the games but the games which I just tend to play as a kid were the Need for Speed games, uh, the SmackDown vs Raw games, FIFA there's probably some games I've missed out but Oh, Grand Theft Auto, obviously, you know, you can't forget them. But just kind of the main titles, I played all of them, every year, bought them and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I went with that. So, in terms of, you know, where gaming's at now, people are making videos, doing, you know, like pro gamers and stuff. You know, it's just completely changed. It's a completely different picture now. So, how I kind of got into the whole thing, it was back in, I'd say 2010, maybe 2011, where I seen a friend of a friend make videos, who he used to play Xbox with, and he just showed me the videos, and they were good, they were really entertaining. Now, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do this, but I'll, make, I'll try and get a link in the description to one of these videos, if they're still on YouTube, and you can kind of see, you know, they weren't amazing, trick shots weren't amazing, editing wasn't amazing, but for considering these were the first videos of something other than someone getting a nuke or something, you know, it was just completely different and it was just 
you, you know, it was a change. It was it was good to watch. You know, it's something. It was just like more of a challenge or whatever. I knew what sniping was. I knew what quick scoping was. But when I seen trick shine, it was just it was completely different. So yeah, if you look in the description at the end of this video, you probably see one of the links to the videos. And just watch it, and you know, it it might look terrible now, but if you can kind of think of for the time it was done then you know I might you might understand what I'm saying. But you know in terms of that I pretty much just watched them videos and the person who it was is Mr Chris H D I believe. And um you know I just spoke to him, spoke to him on Xbox, played with him on Xbox and he just told me all about like recording, how to record, just you know, stuff like that. And I went out and bought a Dazzle, just did some videos and stuff. Unfortunately, they're not on YouTube right now, so I can't show them. I mean, if I did have them, I'd, you know, I'd put them behind this so you can see, you know, even like at the very, very beginning. But, you know, I can't do it, unfortunately. But I think it was in around 2012 where I bought my HD PVR, which I've still got now. And pretty much, I joined a team called Velo Nation. And in that team was the people who I talked to now still on Xbox and play with. So, one of my good friends, Harry, or Aaron Inji, is in there at the moment. He was in that team as well, so I've known him for quite a while, like two years, two years, nearly three years, maybe, I don't know. But it's been a while, and, you know, we've pretty much just played Xbox every day since then. It's been, it's been good. That was pretty much, like, the first, like, I was in teams before that, but that was a team which changed change like my attitude and view on things because I was a trick shot going into that team and I did trick shot for around a year before that but by all means I was absolutely terrible just not even worth mentioning it was just wasn't even a thing really so after 2012 like that summer I'd finished school and I just started kind of sniping and started college and stuff so I'm not sure if anyone's here at college in the UK but you do have a lot more free time so like you're not in like a consistent amount of days for a set number of hours it's just always changing and stuff so you know I had more time to do my own thing and I just kind of spent that just playing Xbox pretty much, so fucking nerd Anna. Yeah, so pretty much just from then on I just kinda of just started sniping, playing other games. You know, it's kinda of just where I'm at now pretty much. So I've been doing this for about two years maybe, like in terms of sniping and uploading sniping videos, definitely around two years. But as you can see from the videos in the background or you may have seen, I've been doing it for a lot longer but it's just a kind of dark area where I don't really want to be, you know, like, linked with or whatever because it just wasn't pretty, pretty much. So, it's kind of coming to an end now. I've been talking around eight minutes. Hopefully, you found this entertaining. So, I'll just quickly mention, like, on my channel, I'm pretty sure it'll be linked in the description. But my channel's AK Tidy, and I'm going to be uploading quite a lot in the future since I've just finished college for summer. And I've got a load of weeks off, a couple of months. So, I will be making videos weekly, maybe two, three a week. Not too sure, but definitely keeping up to date with getting clips, mini tages, you know, maybe. Maybe if you live comments, few stories, so you know if my videos keep doing better and better and getting the feedback they have been doing recently then I'm definitely gonna keep going with this because it's it's good, it's entertaining and I actually enjoy it. So you know, why would I stop? So I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's been rather long, but you know, there's a few things I've gone over and I kinda want to explain my background and stuff. So, you know, you will be seeing more from other area members in the future, so definitely look out for that. Um quick mention of the video before this, it was the Era Clan vs Clan, definitely go and watch that. The team was split up into two teams and had a clan tag hit clips and stuff made a video so it's definitely one to watch. But um yeah, so other than that it's it's been Era Tidy. I hope you enjoyed and that's it. Goodbye.